allows the students of 1901 class. Our group topic is dietary differences. As we all know, the dietary differences is a common problem that even every international student would encounter when they study abroad, and meal adjustment could induce several undesirable outcomes. And in this video, we will discuss the topic about what dietary differences that international students might make at first year in America and how they can make an adjustment to adapt it. This is a catalog and the stresses of this video. Part 1. Introduction With the galloping advancement of society and economy, the numbers of students studying abroad has increased significantly. In 2011, there were over 4.3 million international students studying worldwide, and in 2030, annually around 715,000 Chinese and 400,000 Indian students apply to overseas higher education institutions. And from the chart, it seems to be that the United States still is one of the most attractive destinations for international students to pursue a higher education. From the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, there are five levels of human's needs, and from the pyramid, we can learn that food is the basic need for human beings, not to mention the international student. However, the dietary differences is a common thing that international students would meet in their first year of college. Therefore, how to adjust it becomes significantly. What do you usually eat in your home country? Hot pot, halal food, curry rice, or Chinese dishes. And what do you expect to eat when you study in the US? Well, in the next part, the video will discuss some dietary differences that international student might encounter. Let me talk about some dietary differences among countries. The first is the original materials of the foods are different. Americans like to eat bread, cake, and pastry made by flour, but we Chinese like to eat rice as our main food. The Americans pay more attention to nutrition, while we may be pay more attention to the taste. The Chinese people eat animals the syrup, while Americans do not often eat. It's difficult to find them in the U.S. if you want to eat. There are various kinds of meat can be found in America, but Muslims do not eat pork we know. So if you are Chinese Muslim, you need to identify the meat before you eat. And second is the cooking style are various. Chinese has greater number of uh, cooking style and seasonings than America. However, in America, the main cooking style are roast, braise, toast, uh, bake, and stew, which would not produce smoke while cooking. The food cooked by those techniques are quite different in taste from Chinese style. Some students may dislike some of the cooking style. Also, Americans believe that the cook consuming too much salt would lead to some health problem. Therefore, they eat less salt than Chinese. So you may feel the taste is not enough strong. The eating habits are different. Americans prefer to eat dessert after the meal, when, while Chinese people prefer to eat fruits. The, the people in America go to supermarkets once a week and buy food, store them in the refrigerator for the whole week. The, the Chinese people like to eat meal in one plate, in a round table, but Americans prefer to distribute them and eat individually. The, the Chinese people eat three meals a day, but Americans prefer to eat less in more meals. In America, people uh, usually have an appetizer before dinner. And now let me talk about some uh, consequences if you knew it could not adapt well. The lack of nutrition is the most uh, serious problem. Student health will be affected if they could not eat proper food with plentiful nutrition. Students may miss home and could not concentrate in classes if they could not get used to American food or feel uncomf uncomfortable with the American food. Students won't have good expectations about the future days. Think about they will need some food they don't like during the lunch and dinner. Everyone will feel depressed. Now let me, uh, let's, let's welcome my next peer. 
Well, the next part of the video will discuss the changing situation and our choices. Let's see what kind of choices we have. The first one is the canteen. For those freshman students who have to live on campus, the canteen is the place they usually have meals. OSU have, has three main canteens, and there are four dining planes for freshmen to choose. I suggest to choose the great ten for it gives students more choices, and they can dine out sometimes. The second choice is to dine out. If students cannot get used to food in the canteen, they can sometimes dine out. There are varieties of choices for them. Food from all over the world gather together near OSU, and there is no doubt that there are a lot of Chinese restaurants. Most of them are located on High Street. You can drop by when you want to eat Chinese food. Here are some tips for you guys. First. When you dine out, do not forget to leave a tip, which is very different from what we do in China. Second, remember, it is very impolite to raise a hand and say, hey waiter or waitress. Third, people in America like to spill the bill when they dine out. The third choice is the supermarket. There are several supermarkets near the university, which bring the students a lot of convenience. Besides that, students can also shop online. The following website is the one we can buy a lot of Chinese food. Cam is a supermarket near OSU, which stands for Columbus Asian Market. Cam was the biggest Chinese supermarket in Columbus, but it is closed now and will move to a new dress this September. We can get there by bus or taxi. Next, I am going to give you some suggestions of adaptation. First, you can try to accept American food. Fast, junk, processed are the words when it comes to American food. But Americans have an impressive appetite for good stuff too. OSU will hold an activity which named Taste of OSU. It gathers the food from all over the world, which can help students better understand international food. Second, there are varieties of choices for us near the university. We can dine out and choose the one we like. Third, you can cook by yourself. Don't worry about the ingredients. You can get all of them from the supermarkets nearby. Well, that is the end of our video. We hope that all of you can adapt to the new dietary environment sooner and better. Thanks for your watching.